So these are simple polynomials or powers of x. The graph y equals x looks like that, which a lot of people are familiar with. We could try putting different numbers in, for example, if x equals minus 1, y is obviously minus 1. Yeah, that makes sense. What about y equals x squared? A lot of people are familiar with this one. If x is 0, y is 0, so it definitely passes through the origin. What if x is minus 1? Well, minus 1 squared, oh, that makes plus 1. Okay, so that explains why it passes through that point there. Uh, what about y equals x cubed? Well, that one looks like that. What if x is minus 1? Well, minus 1 cubed, oh, that's minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1, which is negative, which is why it passed through that point. We can make lots of similar arguments. Maybe pause the video if you want to just check with a calculator or by hand. Maybe just check the point x equals 0 and x equals minus 1, and that confirms these graphs. Now let's have a look at some other ones. This time it's negative powers. I've written it as a fraction, but for example, I could have written this one as y equals x to the minus 2. And I could have written this one as y equals x to the minus 4. I could have written this one as y equals x to the minus 1. Anyway, I've written them as fractions. But they're basically negative powers. 1 over x, a lot of people are familiar with, looks like this. If you're not sure, I won't go into great depth here, but if you put in x equals 1, 1 over 1 is 1, so that explains that point. If you put in x equals minus 1, 1 over minus 1 is minus 1, which explains that point. So that, that point comes from 1 over minus 1. And if you put in x equals 0, you get 1 over 0 is infinity. Maybe you're used to that. If you're not, don't worry, but if you put 1 over 0 in a calculator or something, you get a math error. Right. Next one, y equals 1 over x squared. That one looks like this. Um, similar arguments will make the graph look the same as 1 over x except when x is negative because, for example, if we consider that x equals minus 1, you'd get 1 over minus 1 squared, minus 1 squared is plus 1. Oh, so it's 1 over, oh, so that's, uh, so that's positive. I'm just going to fill the rest in, and if you wanted you could pause and you could for each one consider what happens for x equals minus 1, what would the y value turn out to be? There we go. Um, one more one more set of graphs to look at, then we'll go back and talk about a few things and that'll be the end of the video. Now, let's just draw, redraw the graph y equals x, which looks like this, the graph y equals x squared, which looks like this, the graph y equals 1 over x, which looks like this, and the graph y equals 1 over x squared, which looks like this. Notice that for positive values of x, it's always in the same place. It's in the top right hand side. Y is positive when x is positive. Hmm. Well, how come this is positive here, but then it kind of goes negative here? The reason is because both of the graphs on the bottom involve an x squared. If you square a negative number, it goes positive. So that's kind of a link between the graph y equals x squared and y equals 1 over x squared. So let's just um, quickly note that. So notice it's positive, 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 because we're squaring, uh, but then also doing to the power 4, which, which has the same effect. It makes a positive number negative. But for these odd powers of x, it goes negative. Similarly, here we go. For the even powers y is always positive and for the odd powers y oops for the odd powers y is negative when x is negative um, i just want to make a couple more observations and we'll finish first observation is i think it's quite interesting to notice that the graph y equals x looks looks really quite similar to the line y equals x cubed except that x cubed goes off steeper but a lot a lot of similarities between the two which is why I always include y equals x when talking about x squared and x cubed because it, the pattern continues. Uh, yeah.